knowing what you're wanting here and now clear about why you came the best purpose of a gathering like this is it's an easy environment for you to calibrate to your true self it's easier for you as you hear Esther's interpretation of our vibration which is your source vibration it's easier for you to tune to it as you listen as you feel for it every word that Esther finds as an extension of our vibrational offering is vibrationally calibrated precisely to the core of that which is you it is what we like to call vibrationally accurate so since there is no offness then no offness will be activated in you and it's a sort of nice environment where you can just observe a condition and that condition will calibrate you to your source it's a nice thing you just don't want to get dependent on things like that and you don't want to get dependent on conditions calibrating you either because if you are someone who observes a situation and it activates within you a vibrational response which then becomes your point of attraction and it's something wonderful that's a good thing that is happening within you but if you get in the habit of letting conditions be your reason for calibrating to who you are in other words if you are just responding something good happens and you feel good and something bad happens and you feel bad then you don't have any true creative control of your own vibrational output so you're sort of like a cork bobbing around on a raging sea with not much control of what's coming to you so while this is a nice environment for easy calibration we don't want you to get hooked on needing easy environments but then you sort of already are <laughs> the people that are easy to be with you want to be with them and the people that are harder to be with you don't want to be with them and you want to control the conditions of your life experience because when conditions are manifesting in a way that you like it is easier to feel good and oh it sounds like a mixed message from us it isn't but it may sound like it for this reason once you get control of the way you feel then good things gather around you you attract them it's all attraction 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 and then it's logical that you would observe these good feeling things and therefore it's logical that more good feeling things would come but we want so much for you to understand the distinction between calibrating deliberately and calibrating by default you want to look for the things you want to calibrate to and you want to turn your attention from those things you don't want to calibrate to and you were born with a guidance system that could make that easy for you if you just understood that if it feels good it's good to give your attention to it and if it doesn't feel good it's good to withdraw your attention from it but when we say take your attention away from something that in and of itself is asking you to defy the law of attraction because if it's active in you you can't take your attention away from it it's not an easy thing for the law of attraction to have hold of you relative to some habit of thought that's what beliefs are they're habits of thoughts thoughts that you continue to think it's not an easy thing for you to turn away from them because you believe them and law of attraction delivers them to you and then you believe them more and then law of attraction delivers them to you and then you believe them more and you say see it is true and we say you made it true you made it true you focused upon it and you want to say no it was true before I saw it and we are not questioning that there are a lot of things out there that are hovering around you presenting themselves to you getting your attention we are not denying that they weren't there for you to observe we just want you to use your guidance system more effectively and not focus incessantly on problems that need to be fixed not focus incessantly on telephones that are ringing in the audience 
hard not to notice that isn't it it's really wrong that that's happening that's wrong 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 hard to believe anyone would let that happen rather inconsiderate don't you think or it cannot matter at all no one died oh someone's getting ready to though we can So the law of attraction is the law that manages everything that is. It's a vibrational manager. It's what is behind radio stations transmitting and receiving. In other words, signals matching up. And while we may not transmit to Esther in a way that she can find technical words that are scientifically understood by scientists we can say to you that you get what you think about whether you want it or not we can say to you that a belief is just a thought that you continue to think it's a habit of thought and we can say to you sometimes you hold a belief that does not serve you and sometimes you hold a belief that does and we just want you to get better and better at sorting that out we also, as we're moving forward here today, we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you, but we want you to come away from this gathering with a strong sense of knowing that you have more ability to focus than you may have been giving yourself credit, that the law of attraction does not make it easy for you to change a thought midstream because if you've got a belief that you've been thinking for a while and after all some of the beliefs that you hold your mother thought your mother believed them and because she believed them she demonstrated them in her own life because she gets what she believes so as you witnessed someone getting something that they were expressing over and over as they were saying this is the way life is and then they demonstrated that that is the way life is it's not difficult to understand why you might hold some of those beliefs too we just want you to know that you can modify beliefs you can bridge beliefs you can change beliefs and this is the most important factor in being able to do that effectively you are more than the you you see sitting here in this chair you are source energy you are an extension of source energy and that source energy part of you exists right here and now we call it your inner being some call it your source or your soul but that part of you holds beliefs too that part of you does more than believe that part of you knows stuff about you that part of you knows your worthiness knows your value knows your ability knows your probabilities knows with certainty who you are and that you can be or do or have anything that you choose that inner being part of you knows that but you've got to calibrate your vibration to that which means sometimes you have to look there instead of where you have usually been looking and that takes a little bit of decision making on your part the world that is nice to you and there's a lot of it isn't there it will tease you into conditional calibration because if someone is loving you and you feel their appreciation of you it feels so good doesn't it and then you will look for good feeling from that person but it's a lot to ask of that person because it's not that person's job to hold themselves in steady calibration with everything good for you so that you can tune to them in order to tune to the good stuff that you want they will let you down every single time 100% of the time those people that you tune to who are really good at it some of the time and terrible at it other parts of the time they will let you down over and over and over and over and over and over again because you're looking for calibration in all the wrong places you're looking for it and it's nice to find it so how can we say this to you calibrate to the best of who you are and then good things come to you but don't get hooked on the good things that come to you that's sort of kind of what we're saying your calibration will bring loveliness to you 
just don't get hooked on that loveliness as the source of your calibration let it be the result of your calibration not the reason for your next calibration does that make sense to you because they can turn on a dime there you are bipping along calibrating to someone who adores you you don't even know your inner being exists you've been calibrating to this person and then they have the nerve of dying really that just doesn't seem right you were my reason for liking myself and now you're gone or they take their attention away from you as they go off to lunch the nerve of them sometimes they go to work sometimes they want to watch something on television that you don't want to watch they should know better than that they should be there to serve you but they're not gonna be they're not gonna be you want to get hooked on what is steady and sure and true you want to calibrate to the source of who you are and you want to do it in advance of beating any of them in any day <laughs> because usually first people you meet are going to calibrate you you get up you blunder into your day you get into your car and the jackass across the street calibrates you <laughs> Now you have to know we chose a specific vibration and Esther found that word <laughs> we sent to her a vibration that said those things out there that come to you that you think you don't deserve that bother you greatly and the word jackass <laughs> was the best word that encapsulated what so many of you feel when you bump up against things that don't feel good to you and so we just want you to understand how it works and then have fun in the daily improvement of your own calibration yes now by calibrating what we mean tuning if you've ever tuned a guitar you know about calibration if you've ever tuned anything if you're even tuning your radio dial you are but you don't sometimes get to see the waves it's really fun if you can watch true calibration you can just see it come right into alignment if you have a good ear you can hear it come in if you have perfect pitch you can hear the calibration of harmonics of voices or sounds and such and so it's a physics science part of your world that you are experiencing all day every day without even knowing it and yet you were born with the most sophisticated calibration sensor that could ever be imagined you have source energy within you calibrated at a vibration of non-resistance which means there's no glitch in that frequency and as you tune to that and it feels normal to you and you do it often enough that it's what you really want so it's your go-to sort of like Esther really likes it she goes from one house to another and her computer gives her the choice of which printer is her default printer because until she does that she has to choose from a list of printers so nice when she makes that decision and then the computer just goes there every time so she doesn't have to think about it every time you know what we're talking about don't you want to calibrate to the truest signal of who you are so that you don't have to think it over every time you can just feel it we'll talk a lot about that as we are moving forward here today so we know you have the sense of what we're talking about you create your own reality which means you offer a vibrational frequency which means that vibrational frequency is being answered by all things around and if you're not emitting it it's not coming back to you so if something's coming back to you you're emitting it it is as simple as that we have enjoyed this interaction <laughs> immensely we are eager to talk to you about whatever matters to you there is nothing off limits we're gonna have a wonderful day here together what do you want to talk about some things Ah, oh, there's a lot of trouble in this room. <laughs> We're going to have a very good day here today. Just relax. Don't worry about a thing. Begin right here. Stand if you think it's you. Mm -hmm.